everything is going to move forward what uh, are the recent things that they have you know updated in their uh, this pdf that they have released now one thing is that i don't see a lot of changes um during covid when we had online examination at that point there were a few things um uh, which were there that is definitely for now there is nothing new which has come up so far which i can see and i'll just share my screen and discuss but before that i hope all of you also attended the ia session uh, which ia conducted on um i think saturday so i think they covered a lot of things over there but just to give you all a brief overview as to you know um how to go about it yes the student connect um aishman uh and the most important thing is that they have started with the typing thing right so i hope all of you have already started with your typing that is one thing because practicing typing is extremely important um as you all can see that you know them um even though you know the answers but still if you are not able to write it down in your word then obviously there is no point right so you need to be uh, from now need to start typing if you haven't yet it's completely fine if you haven't yet started with the typing but now is the correct time please start with the typing and also another thing is uh, the mock exams so i think most of you appeared for the ia mocks um if not it's completely fine another thing is that we have also started uh, with the mocks uh, so you can see on the aiq forum uh, when you go to the material section in the recent mock section we have uploaded the iai mocks so you all can go and start giving the mocks the last date to submit our mocks will be 30th april and it will give you a good idea about how uh, you know uh, have studied and mocks actually help you to understand how to move forward what are the things that needs to be improved on and so on and so forth so it's extremely important that you start giving the mocks as well now let's quickly uh just in a half an hour session quickly just let's discuss what are the things i will share this uh, pdf link with you all i will update this on the aiq forum so make sure you all download it from there and also make sure that you all uh, you know go through um, everything which is there okay so just to have a quick uh, guide um i think someone wants to join all right so just a quick uh, guide um these are the different hardware requirements which will which will be needed the internet speed uh, browser so make sure your uh, laptop is compatible with this uh, that's again extremely important um this is something which is very important and you need to keep in mind once you are appearing for the mock so you know once you are practicing on a daily basis that the all the function keys which is f1 f2 f3 and the escape button and the right click of the mouse these three things will be disabled during your uh, examination so when you are practicing for you know typing and everything back at home make sure cmcs students um uh, this is for only cmcs and cp2 students wherein you are using microsoft excel and microsoft word when you are using this please don't use these so i understand that uh, for the cm uh, students and cp2 students when you are using excel you use f4 a lot so now you cannot use f4 you have to use the dollar signs manually there is no other way of doing it right so this is one thing now uh, our programming which version you need it can be any higher version above this so any recent versions that you have uh, it's completely acceptable now most of the things like uh, survival flexserve core plot psych um read excel deep layer package the forecast markov chain fp markov chain these are till here like this this these are used for cs2 others everything is there for cs one 
this is the flow that they have given over here. This is for the C CB1, CB2 papers. Now, in case of CM, CS, and CP2 paper, you can use your own Microsoft Excel and your own Microsoft Word. So the process is slightly, the process is same actually. It's on the day of the exam, the things get a little different, but otherwise it's all same. So you uh, will um, have to refer to the guidelines, which is obviously over here. Check your uh, software and hardware updates. Uh, system compatibility, the check of system compatibility, the check of internet speed, everything is there in this PDF. The links are given in the PDF, so I'll quickly show you all that as well. Um, mock exams, which I yet took, uh, I hope all of you have given. If not, they might be taking more mocks. I don't know the exact dates. So if they are, then definitely register for the same. And then if you have any doubts, you can make sure you're clarifying it uh, with IEI. You can contact them through email or you can call them or you can let us know if we are able to, we'll definitely help you. You can put your doubts on AIQ forum. Then two days before the exam, make sure again you do the system compatibility check. And on the day of the exam, you will have to keep your hall ticket ready. You will have to keep your Aadhaar card or PAN card or um, passport, any identity proof. And you need to log in 30 minutes before. So if your exam start time is 2, a, 2 p.m., make sure you log in at 1.30 because you need to show them these uh, different things. And then uh, invigilator will be there. They will check everything. For an MCQ question, you just have to, you know, um, so in case of CB1, all the, these papers, on the left side, you will see the question paper. And on the right side, you will have the solution, like where you have to type. So for MCQ type questions, you have to select or choose the correct option from the right hand side of the exam screen. So as you change the question on the right side, you will have the option. So from there, you can select. And for the long and the short questions, uh, the response of the respective question will be in the form of a text box which is available on the right so on the left you will you will see the question and on the right there will be a text box where you have to type so there will be no note uh there will be no equation editor someone is saying something there will be no equation editor um that you can use in the exam for these papers because again these papers are on the text um it's on their portal itself you are not launching any word or anything it's on their portal that you are typing so equation editor will not be there mostly and you don't need equation editor for your cb1 cb2 or cp1 or sp or sa papers you don't need equation editor so it's a simple word typing and these responses since it's there on their portal it gets automatically saved so you don't have to click on control s control it it gets automatically saved and once the time is up it obviously gets uploaded so keep an eye on the exam time it will flicker on the top right and once you finish you have to click on the finish test button that you need to make sure that you click and once you click on that your exam gets submitted for the cmcs papers it is a little bit different here i'll take all the questions please mention it in the chat box i'm not taking any questions now please mention all your questions in the chat box i'll take it up at the end okay so first i'll cover whatever uh, is there now here again the only difference comes with this part is where in case of uh, cp2 um and CM2, which is your paper B. So these have Excel. CM1, CM2, and CP2, these have Excel. So you have the question paper that which you get is in the form of Excel and in the form of like the PDF. So you need to download and sa save the Excel solution template with the roll number and the and remember the part. So when you download on the Excel file, it will get downloaded somewhere. It, a pop-up will come up and it will ask you where you need to download. So make sure you remember, either you can, best option is to download it on the desktop. All right, or in the documents. I prefer desktop. So save it text on the desktop, but make sure once you're saving it, at that point only you rename the file with your roll number. And this roll number is not same as your, uh, the. IEI membership number. No, it's different. Roll number is something which you get on the hall ticket. And hall ticket is something which you get, like, I think you might 
have received or it is something which you will uh, receive over the time so that roll number you need to keep it over here and then you can access the um, so this is this needs to be there uh, again the same things mcq they have mentioned you just need to write the option nothing else for the long questions you need to download the solution template from the link provided on the top left of the question paper access the solution template by choosing excel or word for the subject from the taskbar and browsing the download folder so basically if there is any mcq then on the right side of the screen you will see that you know they have the options a b c d click on the mcq or just type the mcq that you uh, want to be answered for the long and the short questions you need to there will be a taskbar with excel and word so you have to click on word and then on the word document again you save it and make sure when you are saving it you need you are saving it with your roll number and you need to answer all the long and short questions over there right so again uh, what they are saying for paper a over here um, for cs and cm papers open the fresh template of the word as i mentioned save it with your roll number and remember where you are saving it always save it in your de uh, desktop uh type the responses of the long type answers in the word all the mcqs have been answered on the portal itself keep saving your work again because this uh, excel and this word you are opening separately not on your portal so make sure you keep on clicking control s control s and then again in the last 15 minutes of the exam uh exam time is designated only to upload the answer so the last 15 minutes of the answer you don't have to type anything you don't have to do anything you just have to upload your solution so go to the last question and when you go to the last question there will be an option to upload your answer script so if you are on the second question on your screen you will not be able to upload go to the very last question there you will see an upload option so upload your uh, question uh, solution with the roll number and then you will get a notification and you just need to click on the finish test button to complete the entire process so that is the the only difference between the two is that in here in paper b for uh, your cm and cp2 excel will be downloaded the excel template make sure you rename with the roll number and save it on your desktop in case of cs1 cs2 paper b you need to open a fresh word wherein you will be pasting all the codes from our, our studio there will be an option to open the r studio as well and again in case of paper a you have to open a fresh word for the long questions and for the mcqs it will be done on the portal itself so it's very very interactive it's not difficult if you face any issue please make sure you have this handy save it all save all the numbers on your mobile phone or write it somewhere keep it ready and mail it over here in this particular port, uh, mail id which they have shared or you can call on these numbers make sure you do this now the uh, joining link the exam joining link is something which you get two days before your exam um, which you can obviously use it during your exam like 30 minutes before the exam these are the two links which you can use to check your internet speed and system compatibility both individually do that and see if it's working do it now also do it two days before your exam also both the days right make sure you have a proper webcam make sure you have your uh, speaker uh, is working on your computer everything is fine now the examiner might ask you to show a 360 view of the room so make sure it's empty no one enters the room also this is something which i have seen in past that if i'm appearing for an exam in a room like i'm sitting in a room and no one is there and my door is closed i have seen that uh one time it happened with one of the students wherein the student just uh like the student's sibling just entered the room and the sound of the door and everything the invigilator asked the student to turn around something happened and the student's sibling just went through like from behind and that was visible to the invigilator and obviously the paper got cancelled but this is something you need to close the door make sure you close the door and 
sit for the exam make sure you don't uh, you know allow anyone to enter the room as well mobile phone outside the room any other devices make sure it's outside the room it's not a dark place there is a good amount of light coming to your face it's well lit room webcam needs to be there everything needs to be there and there will be certain things when you which you need to uh, you know delete from your laptop or whatever which is your zoom teams any desk application any antivirus so this obviously is something which you will understand once you're doing the system check check so once you're doing the system compatibility check uh, they will automatically say that you know you have zoom or you have some any these different type of applications and hence the system is not working so delete zoom teams any desk any kind of antivirus just delete these uh, now itself you can check the system compatibility if it's working fine then it's fine otherwise you need to delete these right so um these things are there if for example in any case you get disconnected because you will be needing a continuous internet for the entire duration of your paper this is something which is uncommon to ifo because they don't need any internet for the three and a half hours three hours 20 minutes here you'll be needing it so anytime you get disconnected don't worry you will be able to reconnect it within you know suppose i got disconnected right now within 20 minutes of the session you will be able to uh, reconnect it or if not just quickly call the support team uh, the numbers is already shared above now again um, there i have a few guidelines over here all the things which you do on the screen will be recorded and don't use any kind of electronic software as mentioned over here now do not press f5 at any point during the exam because when you press f5 your exam gets terminated so function keys is something which you can't use for the text editor uh, all these papers uh, do not press the sh shortcut control z extremely important at any point of time because it might so happen that anything in your you know uh, system gets disrupted so f5 and control z is something that you cannot use make sure you start from the very first and go to the very last question many a times what happens is that student skips the last question because they may not go to the next like they don't click on the next question part um as i already mentioned the word in the excel file needs to be saved with the roll number only the exam timer includes the additional so if so on top of the thing you know you will see the uh, on the top right you will see the examination timer and that timer includes the 50 minutes uh, of uploading time so for example if it shows three hours left or let's suppose it is showing 30 minutes left that 30 minutes includes the 15 minutes of uploading this is only again i'm repeating only for cm cs and cp2 papers that's it that that timer is showing the 15 minutes inclusive of your <clears throat> uh uploading time and during that 15 minutes of uploading time make sure you're not doing anything in your solution script you're not making any changes or you're not writing just upload it because if you are not able to upload in that 15 minutes gone entire six months of effort entire you know time you have written the answers everything is gone they will not consider your paper whatsoever they will not consider your paper so what i will suggest is when you see a 20 minutes time over there when you see a 20 minutes time over there start uploading close your work save it and just start uploading don't use a mobile phone timer it's not allowed in uh, ia so don't keep your mobile phone don't use any kind of timer or etc um upload option will be available on the last question as we mentioned now these are the steps to upload you need to select the file uh, like you have to click on there will be an option to upload and there you will have a select file navigate your file click on it and then you need to just upload it make sure your auto save feature is uh, off it's obviously not applicable also but make sure you keep it off for all the words you just go to the file section and there there are a few steps you can google it or you know i can maybe share it in the group also it's very easy just go to the word and click on off the auto save feature for all the words now it is the responsibility of the candidate to keep a time 
track um that's it yeah so these are the basic things and here you have this finish test option so once you have uploaded then only click on finish test don't click on the finish test before uploading so finish test will be available on the top right and click it only you have answered all the questions you have uploaded your answer script and then you just click on this right so now uh, these are a few do's and don'ts you can go through them uh, keep calm and all that you need to keep a hall ticket and it needs to be um, printed so you need to print the hall ticket it cannot be in a digital format you need to print your hall ticket you need to print your government id and you need to show them um that's one thing uh, you can have your uh, this table book with you obviously calculator obviously that's it nothing else they might ask you to show the uh, table book also right so that's also there uh, don't use any pen paper sticky notes not required they might you know um, cancel your paper they may say that you know someone else is writing something or whatever so don't use any kind of those stuff no rough work nothing is required now how to start your examination so basically you have to click on the start test button available so you might have received a mail from this admin.metal uh, now this metal is the provider for the entire test platform basically now here they will have the examination link they have the instructions they have everything available over here and this is also there on the examination tab so when you log in on your iei like uh, portal on the IA homepage, the IA website basically. Uh, in the examination tab, in the uh, tab on the membership login, there you will see the examination link. So there is a start test button on the email which you have received, and the exam link is also there over there. So both the places. And now you need to close all the apps. Make sure you clear the cache of all your, uh, if you're using Chrome or whatever, you clear the uh, uh, you know, cache for that. Ensure that all the notifications are coming in and pop-ups are blocked. That option you will get. So once you log in, these options you will get wherein you, know, you can uh, just log off. Uh, just switch off these things. So this, when you do the you know examination, um, check the system compatibility, check, then you will get this. Just one second. OK, so <clears throat> this is something. Uh, there will be certain pop-ups that needs to be blocked and certain things which need to be unblocked. So everything you will get over there once you are logging in. And um, that's it. You don't, you try, uh, you try not to uh, change uh, the screen. So what happens is, for example, when you open off. So what happens is that when you open uh, the portal page make sure you don't click on all tab you're not moving out of that tab if you're moving out of that tab then automatically it gets closed because everything you do on the screen is being caught by them okay this is one thing um system compatibility check you need to do right away uh, and you also do it two days before your exam these things are simple. You can just go through them. Uh, again, these are the numbers. These are the numbers uh, which uh, you need to keep in keep handy. This is the mail ID that you need to keep handy. Uh, click on start test. Wait for a few uh, seconds. The system will close the background. If any applications are running automatically, it will close down. And the test will be started. Uh, everything proceed. Pick click Karu and it starts make sure you submit all of these your membership id this is the you know ia id uh, roll number which is there on your admit card name and email id make sure on your membership uh, like on your ia portal when you're logging the ia portal you have your number and your mail id given there so make sure the number and the mail id which is given there is <clears throat> the correct mail id 
which you are using and the number which you are using because that is the only form of communication of yours with IA. So this is something you need to keep in mind, right? Um, for the CMCS, you need to open a Word doc. For CS paper, you need to open a Word doc. And uh, from the taskbar, copy paste the R codes over there. Um, same for paper B, you need to Excel, download the template, Excel template. They give you an Excel template for CM1, CM2. Download it with the roll number and everything. Uh, and this has, is on the typing paper, uh, text. For multiple choice questions, you just need to give the correct option, no requirement for showing the workings and everything. Roll number is in this form, which is there in the your uh, admit card, hall ticket. Nothing else is different. Like You can just see how to open the file and everything, which is very simple. But make sure that you can do it Karo. So open a blank Excel file from the taskbar. So for example, you open Word open. You have to open a Word. Open karna. So taskbar will On your portal, taskbar will Click on Word. When the Word open, hoga, you need to go and save as in a particular place wherever you want to save it. Okay. And then select all the files. So basically, uh, again, when you need to submit also, you have to submit karna hai, aapko select location, karna hai, bahut sare files khulenge, uspe click karke open karna hai, get submitted. So I don't think uh, there is a big issue over here. If you can uh, practice bhi kar sakte, mock agar aap logo ne diya, it's good, if you have given it, it's a very big thing. Um, so make sure our studio needs to be installed in this file. So how will you get this? If you open your file explorer, go to the C drive, go to the, C drive, go to the program files. C drive, in the C drive, there will be a program files. And program files, when you open, there will be a folder R. Don't do anything to that. Just keep it there. All right. Uh, if the secure exam browser is unable to locate the R Studio, you can manually locate the R by browsing. Now, ho sakta hai your R Studio. Make sure your executable file is R Studio is something which you open and you work on. But remember, uh, all the CS1 and CS2 students, when you downloaded your R software, you downloaded an executable file of R GUI and R Studio. These two executable files have an extension of .exe. Make sure it's there in the C drive only. Okay. And in the C drive, there is a program files folder which is already made. And that folder, when you open it, has a, another folder for R. Don't do anything. Just ch check whether it's there or not. That's fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Everything will work smoothly. That's what they have mentioned over here. Um, you can use any standard functions which is there in Excel, Word, R. You can use Equation Editor as well. Uh, so that's, again, not an issue. Handwrite mathematical no notations is not allowed. Basically, the drawing tools which are there on the word or dictation, these you cannot use for sure. Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, this is the entire process see, they have given. This is the last question, question number 21. Kindly upload your answer. This is basically not a question as such. This is just a question to upload your answer script. Here you need to click. Here you need to just click and uh, or you need to click on this select file. Just click on the select file option and then another window will come up. It will ask you to locate your answer script. Locate your answer script. Click on OK. It will be attached here. See, it will be attached here. This is the word file. And then just click on uh, once this is attached. So you can see that file types permissible are these are the different files which are permissible and here once it's uploaded make sure you don't click anything and you click on the submit button so on top somewhere over the this previous button on top of the previous button as we saw here you will have this finish test option so you need to click on the finish test option and yeah that's it you are done okay this is very very basic just make sure where you have downloaded just make sure where you have downloaded the file. Okay. That's it.
for the other papers which is text editor this is how it looks like so this is the question these are the different parts you need to just type in your response over here okay <clears throat> you can click on enter your response to zoom in so it will it will get zoomed this box will get zoomed you can type your response here please don't click on control z if you want to delete everything click on clear text response on top right or you just use the backspace key control z is not allowed if you press this your exam will be terminated i think everything we have discussed so far there is one faq also which is shared so these are a few faqs which you can go through i didn't feel that these are something which you not be knowing uh these are just basic faq regarding ia you can just go through maybe um no it's not an open book exam and all these papers cm cs cb papers have 40% mcqs all the rest papers don't have um the same percentage um i don't think anything else you need to keep in mind everything is covered i can now go and check your doubts yeah okay please post your doubts in the chat box i will not allow anyone to unmute and ask so um, i will not allow anyone to unmute and ask please just ask it on the chat box uh, equation editor is only available for cm cs papers where you have word otherwise you don't when it's text editor you don't have equation editor over there and you don't need as well sanchi you can type a do not an issue it's fine yes only cm cs cp2 papers equation editor you tanisha it's not a very big deal for example if i'm typing on text and i'm typing on uh, like i'm <clears throat> making a balance sheet you just have imaginary lines in mind because here you don't have those options you have this option to insert a table see so what all options you see here that's it you have options to insert lines i guess and this table so you can insert a table for a balance sheet or an income statement nothing else you need um so numericals ruchita i mean those sp7 numericals um are very basic ones where you don't need equation editor you just need the notations so you can have notations i don't think they might reduce the marks a bit uh ruchita for the sp7 um numericals part but otherwise i don't think it's very big deal because uh even i have appeared for sp5 and sp6 so when i appeared for sp5 i did not use a lot of equation i in fact did not use equation editor so i simply uh, i appeared from ifa although but still i did not use equation editor so it's fine no uh, table book the one which you have it's fine you cannot have rough paper i mean you can keep blank papers and a pen with you but you make sure you ask the invigilator at the start of the exam that can you do that i don't think because they have written no but still you can ask them you can show them a blank sheet but mostly i don't think they will allow you to do that so don't take that risk yes vibha it will definitely lead to a problem if you uh, you know upload it after that time uh, because whatever time is um, let me check the have they given this uh, duration thing so these are a few things i feel you can keep in mind this r studio thing for the cs examination cs1 cs2 so the and you can go and check um 
see this is somewhere you can again check for your word uh, whether it's all fine again uh, this is something which they have you know overcome for f4 they have clearly mentioned that you cannot use just give me a second So for F4, they have themselves stated that you can use the dollar sign. Um, regarding this thing, let me just check. Have they mentioned? See, they have this pass mark rule. Um, which is individually you need to pass. For CMCS, again, uh, it is 70-30 um, weightage. And in total, the marks should be above 50. I mean, yeah, this is something which is same to what we follow. Exam timings. Hmm. Yeah. So see, for CMCA CP2, you will be provided with additional 15 minutes for uploading your answers. But that additional 15 minutes that you have will be included in the timer on top. So you need to make sure that if 20 minutes left, that 20 minutes left basically means um that that 20 minutes left basically means it's inclusive of 15 so you just have five minutes to type and then another 15 minutes to submit okay this is something you need to keep in mind i think i have covered everything else uh obviously if you have further doubts i'm there to answer them all that's not an issue yeah i don't see anything left okay uh just quickly taking um, yes sort of 40 percent is mcq for cb1 I mean, uh, Venetia, don't keep a laptop in the room itself. Somewhere outside you can, but not desirable. Please have a good laptop. Like you do the system check now itself, two days before. Then you'll not face an issue. Tulsi, no. Uh, the MCQ you need to answer on the portal itself. There is no word limit. Yes, Excel me you can use control Z. Okay. So I think most of the things I've answered. If you have any further questions, you can raise it on. For CB1, there is nothing as such uploading because you are working on the text file only. So the duration which you see is the duration of your exam only. At the end, you just need to click on finish time. That's it. Okay. That's it. Uh, I'll be taking one more session uh, two, three days late, uh, like after two, two, three days. I will be taking all the questions over there. It will be an interaction where you can unmute and you can ask your question. I have already explained buckle what it means. It means that you need to down, you need to just open a word file. And in that word file, you need to answer all the long and the short questions. There is no template as such. They have just written that. In the next line itself, they have clarified the same. 
whatever table book you have with you, you can use that. OK, that's it. If you have any queries, you can let me know. Make sure you go through this, these two, uh, the student guide and the FAQ properly. Um, that's it. IICS one. I'll be, we'll be having uh, those. Don't worry. Okay, Muskan. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll take further doubts uh, two, three days later. But please go through this, these documents. I've discussed most most of the things, but you can also go through them at your end. Okay. Thank you.